Hello and welcome back to The Aggie. I'm Christopher and this is a theme park guide. In this episode, we're going to talk about the best amusement parks in Europe. First, let's have a look at the most visited parks in Europe. At number one, we find Disneyland Park, Paris. In number two, Europa Park, Germany. In number three, Efteling in the Netherlands. Number four, Walt Disney Studios Park. Number five, Tivoli Gardens, Copenhagen, Denmark. Number six, Portaventura World. Number seven, Liseberg, Sweden. Number eight, Gardaland, Italy. Number nine, Legoland, Windsor, UK. And number 10, Park Asterix, Paris. So is this the best parks in Europe because they're most visited? We don't really agree. There's some hidden gems here that we're gonna look at. And there's also some of this list that we will not even talk about. There's not gonna be any ranking in this video. So the one we start with doesn't have to be our favorite, but it's one of the best amusement parks in Europe, in our opinion. Disneyland Park France. This is the classic castle park. A Disney park is a Disney park. The attention to detail in this park is just out of this world, and especially the one that they have built in Paris. This park is so beautiful that you're blown away. Remember though that this park is not packed with rides as all other parks that we're gonna talk about in this list. Disneyland Park has some pretty good rides, don't get us wrong, but it's not like going to Europa Park or something like that. This is different. This is a Disney experience. The reason that the Disneyland Park in Paris is going to attract their interest even more in the future is because the Walt Disney Studios Park next to it is right now going through the biggest expansion the park has ever seen. At the moment, they are adding Avengers Campus they're building Frozen Land and they're also building Star Wars. The first of these is set to open sometime in 2022 or 2023. The Star Wars Land is set to be open in 2025. We expect almost the size of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge in both California and Florida. We know for a fact though that it's only gonna be one ride. We hope that the ride is going to be Rise of the Resistance and not Millennium Falcon. But whatever they choose to do, we are so much waiting for Star Wars to come to Europe. Liseberg, our home park here in Gothenburg. If you're thinking about visiting Liseberg, you should spend some extra time. I know there's not that many rides in the park, but they have pretty good rides, or honestly, really good rides, and the park is super pretty. Located in the central city of Gothenburg, it is built on top of a mountain, also known as Elise Mountain or Elise Bay. In Liseberg, you will find one of the best roller coasters in the world called Helix. You will also find Europe's longest dive coaster, Valkyria. And you will also find an amazing gyro swing called Loki. If you're into more coasters, you will also find Liseberg Bonham, an old Schwarzkopf coaster opened in 1987. Liseberg is at the moment going through its biggest expansion yet. They're adding a hotel, and they are adding a water park. The hotel is set to be open in 2023 and the year after, sometime kind of close after, they will open the water park. We also know that some of the hotel rooms is going to have a view over the park and also a rooftop bar where you can sit at night having a drink watching all over Liseberg. Port Aventura World outside Barcelona in Spain or Salou in Spain. This is not one park, this is not two parks, but three parks. One is a water park, we're not going to talk about that one in this episode, but we're gonna talk about Port Aventura Park and also Ferrari Land. We haven't visited any of these parks, so our information are from YouTube and different sources. Port Aventura World was actually owned by Universal back in the time, and it was Universal's try to match Disney, what Disney was doing in Paris. That did not work out, maybe for the better, maybe not. We don't know and we will never get to know. But Port Aventura Park is an amazing park and also Ferrari Land. Ferrari Land, of course home to a lot of Ferraris, but also Red Force. 
a launch roller coaster that does 0 to 180 km per hour in 5 seconds. Ferrari Land is also perfect for you who are interested in racing cars and Formula 1 because they have Formula 1 experiences and dark rides. In Port Aventura you find some really good rides and roller coasters. For example, Port Aventura is home to Shambhala. This hypercoaster was for some time the fastest and tallest hyper in Europe. Another super great ride, or for some not that good, you find in Port Aventura Park. And that is Furious Paco. Be sure to visit Port Aventura World. Europa Park, located in Rust, Germany. This park is maybe except from Disneyland the most famous one in our list. Europa Park is the largest theme park in Europe and is home to no less than 13 roller coasters. Europa Park has been looking a lot at Disney and Universal while building their park. For example, there's a globe in Europa Park that looks very much alike something at Epcot. Europa Park is also home to a dark ride called Pirates in Batavia. This is a boat ride about pirates. Sounds familiar? Europa Park is a must visit in Europe. Try to get there as soon as you can. Fantasialand, Germany. Fantasialand is located in Brühl. I'm not sure if that's how you say it, correct me if I'm wrong. This park is maybe a little bit of a hidden gem of all the parks in this list. Fantasialand is an amazing park and it's a small little Disney world. The theming of this place is sometimes further and better than what Disney World and Disney is doing in all their parks. The new area of Fantasialand, Ruckberg, that recently opened and is also home to a new roller coaster called Fly. Ruckberg also features a hotel called Charles Lindbergh. This hotel looks just stunning. Except from Fly, you can also find Black Mamba. This is a B&M inverted roller coaster that looks just perfect and it's located in the park's Africa area. Another great roller coaster of Fantasialand is Taron. And Taron you will find in the area Klugheim. And Klugheim is probably the most heavily themed area we have ever seen, which looks just great. We are so thrilled for our visit to this park. And we are really hoping for it to happen this year. Energylandia Poland. Located in Sotur in Poland, uh, just around 50 kilometers from Krakow. Energylandia has some super aggressive expansion plans, which are actually in the making as we speak. And their new themed land, Aqualantis, is set to open sometime this year. Energylandia is home to 15 roller coasters. That is a great amount. And what's even greater with that amount is that Energylandia actually opened their gates only in 2014. So the park has only been open for almost seven years and they already have 15 roller coasters. Efteling, located in the Netherlands. Again, we're gonna have some problem with pronunciation. Efteling is located in, wait, I have to read. Katsuilo in the Netherlands. With its opening in 1952, it makes it one of the world's oldest theme parks. Actually, three years older than the original Disneyland Park in California. Efteling is home to six roller coasters, plenty of rides, and great scenery and theming. One of their most famous roller coasters is Baron 1898. The newest addition is Max and Moritz, a double Mac Rides roller coaster, which looks amazing, and only Max and Moritz is a reason to visit Efteling. Next park on the list is Alton Towers in Staffordshire, England. Alton Towers is home to 10 roller coasters, some of them that have made quite a name for themselves and also for the park. One of them is Nemesis the first inverted roller coaster in Europe. Another one is Oblivion, that was the first dive coaster in the world. The Smiler holds the world record for most inversions on a roller coaster. That is 14 to be exact. The latest addition to the park is Wickerman, a wooden coaster that looks stunning. Be sure to visit Alton Towers as soon as you can. We are sure planning on it. This 
this was our pick for the best European theme parks. Of course there's more, and we're gonna give you a few of them that we all saw super like. Thorpe Park in the UK, Park Asterix in France, Tivoli Gardens in Denmark, Backen in Denmark, Hansa Park in Germany, Gardaland in Italy, we also have Linanmäki in Finland. All of those parks are also super great. Let us know what you think. What's your favorite European theme parks? This is our picks and this is what we like. Thank you so much for watching another theme park guide here on Tiagi. Please leave a comment, press the like button and subscribe to our channel for more content. From all of us to all of you, buckle up and enjoy the ride.